What a prick. <laughs> Any man over 40 on Instagram is weird. And that weirdo is performance artist Jan Hocken Eriksson. He has over 500 of these artsy balloon snuff films. Real long winters in Norway is my guess. <laughs> Time well spent. <laughs> Balloons aren't his only medium. He also dabbles in dry pasta. <laughs> but mainly balloons. I see his work as a metaphor about how all arts programs should be defunded immediately. <laughs> as a tribute to Jan, I decided to pop the most erotic balloons of them all. <laughs> This is obviously an art piece about how sex has become too safe in the workplace. <laughs> Everyone knows that the most exciting thing about intercourse is spending the next three months terrified that someone's pregnant. <laughs> millions and millions of sad people are spending their time watching other people cut bar soap. I'm told this is soothing and or relaxing. I is better than traditional whittling with soap whittling, no splinters, and your hands smell amazing. <laughs> when cutting something slippery, you always want to slice toward the wrist in a, in a, in a long, deep, straight down motion. <laughs> then take a warm bath. <laughs> and let your problems just float away. I made a soap cutting video with my own personal bar soap. <laughs> Pubes are nature's loofah. This video's almost 40 minutes long. Pretty good way to get everyone's attention before you make a speech. That's School Atlet Atleto, and he makes tons of long, painfully dull, almost serial killer-esque videos for seemingly no other reason than to infuriate me. Turn it off! Is it art? How would I know? I grew up in Florida. That's why I asked you, the people who always have comments on everything, to critique his work in a new segment called Art Twitic. <laughs> All right, let's see how you interpreted this. Uh, the DS, empty and hollow, the mindless repetition of life, ringing out for all to hear, also wide and ceramic like your mom's <laughs> vagina. <laughs> this is about f***ing Obama and his lack of authority when dealing with foreigners. <laughs> Next. This one is called Waffle Falling Over. Bush did 9-11. Interesting piece right here. The waffle represents the bourgeoisie and gravity is the proletariat. Powerful. Joe writes, it's a waffle falling over. The next piece is titled Putting Book on a Bench. Can we see that again in slow motion? No? Great. What does it mean? Christianity has been benched. 
We are outside now, vulnerable and alone. Unable to go on, we rest on a bench, waiting for night to take us. Oh, my followers are deep as shit. The last selection from his vast library of pointless work is Touching Door with Baguette. There are almost 82 million videos on YouTube that might be the dumbest. It represents the struggles of opening a door while holding a baguette. It is very sad. This represents the growing gap between rich and poor in America. Only those with a little bread can open doors. That's not bad. Cock block metaphor, duh. Real mature art critics.